Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm Cameron Nanks, if you don't know, I'm a first year computer science cybersecurity student uh, in university. And yeah, I make computer science, cybersecurity and ethical hacking videos. But yeah, I've taken some time away from YouTube. It's only been a month, you probably wouldn't have even realised that there's been a dip in my upload schedule lately. But it was Christmas, so you can't really blame me. Also, I took some banging photos on my camera here so if you want to see them in fact no of course you want to see them here they are right now listen even back when we was broke my team hell martin luther king would have been on dreamville talk to a nigga one time for my la sisters one time for my la ho lame niggas can't tell the difference one time for a nigga who knows don't say bye she don't want to be saved don't say bye she don't want to be saved don't say bye she don't want to be saved don't say bye she don't want to be saved Right now. Anyway, nonetheless, um, we are now going to cover database hacking. Now, if you don't know what a database is, a database is simply just a collection of information organized in a specific way, stored on a specific application. It just stores information about a specific entity. Now, an entity could be anything, right? It could be a person, it could be uh, an order, or anything like that, right? Because a lot of websites do have databases on the back end. You don't really interact or see the databases, but they are there. Now, we're gonna run through a typical one called SQL injection. Uh, this is typically when you request information and the database gives back more information than it probably should do because they can gain, gain knowledge and reconnaissance about the database and figure out what it's running, you know, what versions are running, you know, what is exploitable, if there's a vulnerability. So a typical way to do this is um, you can inject, so any user input, right, um, can be a form of a vulnerability assessment to see if it's vulnerable to SQL injections. Now, SQL injection is one of the big main vulnerabilities. It's quite high up alongside um, XSS and remote code execution. Um, it's typically done in uh, bug bounties as well. Where bug bounties, if you don't know, um, are when a company outsources to hackers to hack their website to then report where the holes are. So there's different versions of SQL injection. You've got union select, but for this video, we're going to focus on the more basic side, which is just the normal... Um, parameters you know not no unions no adding basically a union statement is um in sql a way to add a select statement from one table and a select statement from another so for example we have a database and you have a table called customer email and you have another table called customer password you want the email and password don't you because you want to log in so the union select would allow you to select all from customer emails and then union select all from customer passwords and then you get returned both tables the, that is what the union statement does more or less uh, we're not going to really be focusing on that though we're going to be focusing on something more simplistic and we're also going to be, we're also going to be using an automation tool called sql map so there are many sql queries and statements that can be given it's not necessarily just one type so yeah let's uh hop onto my candy vm and i can show you sql map so we are in Kali Linux, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run my VPN file, which is going to allow me to access an SQL injection lab. All right, so what we do is we just, yep, run it. Yep, and then the password, I'll just make this over here a bit so it's easier to see me. Uh, right, <laughs> should be loading now. There we go, it's loaded. What we can do now is we can shut that down. I have a new terminal. We can then grab our IP address, which is this one here. Luckily, this isn't my, this is, this is a VPN IP address, as you can see, it's tab zero. Anyway, uh, what we can do is we can scan this with Nmap. So MMAP is a popular scanning tool that I'm pretty sure most of you have heard of if you've ever watched my Hack the Box videos, or video I should say. Uh, so we can scan everything on the network, well on the VPN network at least. 
Uh, let's see how long it takes left. Okay, so 74.5% done. So I'm just going to be done. It's going to be done in about three seconds ish. <clears throat> yup, there we go. Right, so let's see what we have. So we've got one, right? And it's HTTP, so we can access this through a web browser. So let's do that. And there you go, we get brought to a page, right? So what we can do now, so what we can do now is we can try to find the user input that is vulnerable to SQL injection attacks. So I don't know, let's just go to like news. Anything on news? Okay, yeah, look. So now you can see, here we have an ID function. Now an ID, well, parameter I should say, an ID allows you to add any user input. So if we take away these 226, and the comma, like I recently uh, explained already. See what brings back. Okay, so we get a warning. MySQL, so it's using MySQL database, tries to fetch a zero array and expects one, but it doesn't. So basically, it basically just says it's vulnerable to XSS, um, no XSS, SQL injection. So basically what we can do now, right, is we can clear this up a bit. We can go SQL map, plus H, unless H is for host and not help. There we go. Okay, so it gives us a bit about the parameters here. Maybe if I add like that in. No, nope. uh, no, they didn't give anything else out. But yeah, so as you can see, we've got a few parameters here. We're going to be using some of the most easy ones. So SQL map dash u for the URL. Um, so the URL is going to be this, but we'll add the 26 back in. Copy that, paste that. And then we can go to get enumerate tables that are in the database. If this doesn't work, then I'll probably need to amend it a bit. Nope, no, nope, it does work. Yep. So as you can see, we're giving back this data. I'll just bring it over here because it's easier to see. So if we go back, we can analyze this, right? So I want to try to find my, uh, my parameters. Yeah, so we use SQL map, which is an automated tool used for SQL querying and SQL injections. Um, dash U, and then we put in the URL, and then we can enumerate the tables with this. So, go down. The only part that's really important is this part here. So, as you can see, it's information schema, it's the database name, we have 40. None of these look necessarily, you know, um, important, but then there is another table called AWD and it has accounts, awards, and news. So what we can do now is we can take that back, put a capital T to specify what table we want. In fact, capital D, and then we can do the database of AWD, and then we can do table of, let's say, accounts. And then if we do columns, should, unless I can just do all, let's have a look. Does that work? It's just running. <laughs> I haven't used the dash dash or tac tac all before, but let's just have a look. Oh my god, okay, Jesus. Wow, that is a lot of information back. <clears throat> a lot of this is just placeholder text, so it's not really important. However, if we do scroll up, we do have this. Now, this is everything that we need from the database, you know, like we've got a username, we have a password. And we have a bunch of other users, but the main one is admin, right? So if we just copy that, copy email address, go over to here, go on to login, put it into email, and then we go back over, nick the password, paste the password in as well. As you can see, welcome. We are now into the admin section of the page which means that we've successfully done an SQL injection attack. Now, this is a very vulnerable attack. As you can see from here, we get given back all the usernames and passwords in the database, as well as the display names, which is always very helpful as well. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the end of the video. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, it really helped me out a lot. I'm trying to grow my channel, as you, can, as you probably can tell. Um, 
trying to share knowledge and information. I know I have already done a video similar to this. Um, I think it's called like DBMS, something, something, something. I, know. I did it quite a while ago. Like it was one of my first recent video, like one of my first ever videos, pretty much. <clears throat> uh, but this is more. This is more of an advanced version of that video. That video is just to get you familiar with DBMS systems and how queries can be done in SQL. Whereas this is ex actually exploiting the queries. I think I did cover SQL injections at that point, but um, this is actually more on the pen testing side. And yeah, you know, so hopefully this is, sheds some light on the videos. And yeah, I'll be trying to make more videos okay. in the future and definitely soon. So everybody have a good New Year's because this is currently New Year's Day now. So yeah. Uh, have a good one. See you in the next video.